Well guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modelling Bench. Um, today is Wednesday the 14th of July 2021 and here I am sat in front of you at 8 o'clock in the evening. Uh, that's why I'm filming this. And just to sort of say thank you very much to all of your wonderful comments on the Vulcan build. Today I put part 4 up and it looks like a lot of you are enjoying it. Um, we had a bit of a problem with the nose gear bay. Uh, it certainly sounds like from some comments we've had that I'm maybe unlucky with mine and I've had some movement. I know it's certainly covered in sink marks and I think some others aren't. So I don't know. Um, I've had a comment that I'm making hard work of it. I can assure you I'm not making hard work of it. I just want it to go together as easy as possible. Um, so please stop those comments. And basically now I'm filming part seven and it's 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 coming along nicely. I have had to use bits and pieces of plastic shim. I've had to use Mr. Surfacer in the sink marks and just basically standard modeling techniques and a bit of care and everything. I've done some work with the uh, masking tape for the masking the, um, the intakes. I've also done all the work with the intakes and sanding them and all that, got them all painted white. And uh, yeah, it's looking nice, it's looking all right. Um, as far as Mojo goes, this is a real proper Mojo builder. And the thing I'm doing with this, which I very rarely do, as most of you will know, I've, I've got a book, um, it's here actually, on Target Special, I think it's number seven, and this is the V-Bombers book. And the only reason I've got this out uh, is because I want to basically make a camouflaged bombayed Vulcan B2 with the aftermarket decals I've got and I want to make sure that it's correct. So I'm not saying like rivet counting and stuff, but there's obviously two different exhausts in the box. There's two different tail fin caps in the box and I want to make sure that I've got the right ones. So the version that I want to make from my decals, I need to find in this book and on the decal sheet and then I can confirm that she was wearing that tail fin cap and that those exhausts when she was in service with a Bombay. I can't build the model out of the box accurately as camouflage because the only scheme in the box is from 1966 and it's XM594, whatever it is. Um, and at the time it's depicted by the decals, she was carrying blue steel and mine's got a Bombay and I, want, I don't want blue steel. So um, there we go. Um, and that's as far as I'm going with rivet counting and accuracy and stuff like that. But I do want to make sure it's right. And I'm sure there's people that say, oh, well, I think you'll find in September the 27th, 1967, they actually changed the fin cap because of an ECM issue. So, yeah, as we all know, and it's just like what I do. That's exactly what I do with B-52s. So um, there we go. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for your um, comments and everything. Oh, I've had a kit come today from eBay. This is a kit I've been after ever since it was released. And I missed out when it was first released and I've seen them come on, up on eBay and I've missed out and lately because of the demise of the manufacturer the prices have got a bit silly. This one came up on eBay, I bid on it, I bid a silly price hoping that you know no one would sort of go up too much and I got it, here it is, O2SU for OS2U, I'm looking at the cameras backwards, OS2U um, Kingfisher one of my favourite wartime, World War II aircraft, absolutely love it, as sat on the back of Arizona, absolutely love it, beautiful aircraft I think, um, I wish somebody would make a 35th scale or a 32nd scale catapult to sit on, it would be beautiful, but uh, yeah, and I got it for 38 quid, I was really amazed, I think that's cheaper than retail when Kitty Hawk were in business, been through it, it's perfect, it's all bagged up, it's all sealed, um, got on email, get off a guy, really really chuffed with it and look at all the different options you get you know you can uh, you can also build it as you can see here you can build it as a wheeled aircraft as well so really really nice really pleased to have that one uh, in the stash so um yeah mojo is definitely back i've had it down the land rover today as i said i've been doing a bit of work on this um so if you don't watch my land rover channel please get over there and subscribe have a look uh, today I've put a video out and it's almost like modelling. It's sort of working with steel and making shapes and structure and then grinding and welding and all that. So uh, yeah, go take a look. Nigel's Land Rover channel. And um, and there we go. So um, I'm going to continue now do some more work on this. And I'm going to go and have a couple of beers. And, uh, and I'll see you very soon with part five. Probably tomorrow I'll put that out. So um, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.